welcome back to Kara Jo Plans. Today I'm going to be setting up my daily duo planner from Erin Condren and I'm going to be using this gorgeous Life and Envelopes kit. I absolutely love this pattern. Uh, my friend Jennifer over at Life and Envelopes has an Etsy shop and you can save 15% in her shop when you use my code CARRIAGEO15 and that is linked down below. I believe this kit was called Midnight Garden, I think. But I love, she has one sheet for each day of the week. So you get the header strip, the box, you get some dividers, your to-do label, and some other event boxes for each day. So there's Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday's pattern changes just a little bit. And then Thursday, and then the weekend pattern is the lighter color as well. And then the weekend you get the larger box and two little events and two to-do stickers. So I'm really excited to use this kit. And I also picked up the date square sheet, which gave you all the written dates and it gives you a weekend and then more little event stickers, meeting stickers, and some dividers as well. So I'm really excited to use this kit and get started. I am going to start with Monday and get my header down. Now the Daily Duo I don't use every day to be honest. Um, I am going to switch back to more paper planning from the digital planning. If you watched my weekly, I said that when it's digital it's so much easier just to lasso a task and move it to the next day. Whereas if it's written in my planner then it's kind of like it's on that day I need to get it done. So I'm thinking that I'm going to try the paper planner for a little more accountability for the next couple weeks just to see. And then I am planning on moving into the Live Rich planner in January. So we'll see how that goes. And I just totally biffed this one. Let's see if I can get this up. Nice and gentle there. Curled a little bit. Let's turn it over see if we can do it this way. Um, I still love the digital planner. I'm still going to use it, but I think I need to rely more on my paper planner for my accountability and everything. So, and I think the weekly views work really well for me. I don't know how I feel about the daily duo continuing this. I probably would not buy another daily duo because some days I literally just go to work and come home and there's nothing extra that I need to do so that's all up in the air um, I don't know if I want to put this box up there or if I want to save it for something I think I want to put it up there Let's see if this fits yeah I can get that to fit in there perfect even if I got it a little crooked, either way. All right, so then I'm gonna go to Tuesday. And then once I get these laid down, I'll fill in more if I have stuff that I know is going to go on. But I'm gonna set up the days pretty much the same as Monday. So I will be back. I'm gonna play some music for you guys while I set up these days the same way. So hang tight.
Okay, so I have the basic weekly layout set up and then I'm going to use this weekend sticker right there. And then it looks like once I get the pattern sheets, the pattern stickers off of here, these are all pretty much the same. So I don't have to keep these in any specific order. Now the Saturday, Sunday, I didn't do anything with the to-do list or anything yet. I'm not sure how I want to set that up yet because those are the days that I actually use my daily duo the most. So I do have that. Now I do know on Tuesday and Thursday that we do meetings at work. So I'm going to take her two meeting stickers. It's neat that she had perfectly two on there and mark these off. And usually we do them from 12.30 to 1.30. Okay, now these are a little bit shorter to leave the time slot, I think. So if I put that right there. Perfect, okay, and then on Thursday, same thing, we have a meeting. there. So there's the meeting for Thursday. And then let's see what else I have going on this week. Um, okay, so the weekend, I do have stuff going on. So I think for the weekend, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take one of these strips and take up most of the day with this. I think maybe from like there and up. Because I've got the Space Derby for Scouts. And since I have been promoted to den leader, I get volunteered to help out the whole day, which is awesome. I, I love scouts, so that's not a problem. And then on Sunday, I will have church. And then Friday night will be the Space Derby registration. Let's see, I'm all out of the green stickers there, so let's move to this one. So the Space Derby registration will be, starts at six. And then I think I'm going to take one of these blue stickers and just pull it down another hour, I think. Maybe right in the middle there. And my fancy ruler. Which, let's just talk about this ruler for a second. So this was from Erin Condren, and it's gold. And it used to be really fancy, but it has really gotten, I don't know what the word is, like worn and what is the tarnished? I don't know. So I don't know if you guys know how to clean this to make it shine again, let me know. Cause like it, it was one of my favorites and it's like a $10 ruler. How do you get the tarnish off of these things? Cause I don't know like what actual material it is or how to clean it. So tips and tricks. Thank you. Oh, who knows? All right. So that's what we have so far. And then on Tuesday, it is a garbage day. Let me see if I have a fun garbage sticker that I want to use. 
I'm going to check out Jennifer's. Um, not on her sampler. Let's see. I feel like I have some trash day stickers somewhere that aren't. Oh, let's use Coffee Monster. I know I have some here somewhere that are trash. Here they are. So let's do... Let's do one of these big guys. And I think I'll just put that up here because I think I'm going to end up putting the weather up in here and then that big thing up there will remind me that that's trash day. That sticker is huge, dude. That is so cute though, look. So it came on this sheet. There were three big ones up at the top and then a bunch of little ones. Those are just adorable. So I have that. And then I think what I wanna do with these blue ones is I wanna make a special to-do list just for YouTube each day. So I think if I put this here, and I don't wanna do a ton, but waiting till Saturday sometimes just overwhelms me. So if I can do maybe two or three times during the week, maybe on Wednesday, Especially this week, since Saturday I have the Space Derby most of the day. If I can get some of this stuff done earlier in the week, I won't have as much to do on the weekend. And then one here too. And then on Saturday there's supposed to be somebody coming to my house to update my gas meter, which my house is old and my gas meter is inside my house, so someone has to be here, which is really annoying. And they give you like the largest window in the world. Like, oh, we'll be there between now and never. So I'm just gonna put this on one of these little blue stickers too. Little gas meter install. And I know it helps them so that they don't have to like manually read, they can just drive past and get the readings and stuff, but I feel like I don't know, since I've lived here, I've had a ton of, we need access to your gas meter. I just wish they would move it outside. I don't wanna sit at home waiting for a gas meter dude and clean my basement, cause it's way in the back of my basement. So to clean my whole basement to get somebody. So anyhow, that's that. And then, so this is the setup for the Daily Duo this week. I think this kit turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love the patterns. I love how Jen sets up her stickers. They're all super useful, and I really think that I might use my Daily Duo more this week just because I love these stickers so much. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and head over to my friend Jen's video uh, channel, Life in Envelopes, for more of her stickers and her budgeting and planning as well. Thank you guys, have a great day, bye.